Another tip for people, really, with the corn fair and arrowroot, but if you're creating a, a sauce that you don't want it cloudy, particularly if you want to do anything with nice, uh, something fruit-based, uh, a little bit of sugar and water in a pan with some lemons, lemon zest, if you thicken it with arrowroot, it stops it going cloudy. Exactly. Corn flour makes it go cloudy. It does. We're getting all the tips today, uh, and also, I'm loving I'm going to stay here for the afternoon. Tapioca starch is another cracker, but it's, it's twice as powerful as normal starch. Yeah. Tapioca, tapioca starch, I've never starch. heard of it. Right, yeah. so what's this then? This is the salad to go with the chicken. OK. So here we've got jumbo couscous, which already cooked for around 15 minutes. Yeah. Dressing, lemon juice, olive oil, chopped red onion, half a chopped red onion. In that goes. I love the crunchiness of red onions. Well, the red onion's good because it's sweeter. If you, if you can't get... Don't use white onions. Yeah. Use onions, uh, red onions or schlots. So if you were using raw onion, would you go for red? No, you'd have to cook big raw onions, Spanish yeah. onions, you cook them first. Oh, OK. But you'd, other than that, use raw red onion or raw schlots. Is this a Moroccan-y feel, Phil? Yeah, it's sort of Lebanese type idea. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. just... It's, I just love the freshness. I, I think it's really, really tasty. Now, so if you can leave that for sort of half an hour, just to soak up some of the marinade, this mm -hmm. is the next kicker. This is garlic that I've actually roasted, so it's gone dark. It yep. completely changes in plenty of oil. I strain it off. How do you it, make sure it doesn't burn? It's just got to cook it gently. It gently. Gently is the key, and in plenty of oil. If you don't have enough oil, half will burn, half will burn. Why are you looking at that, Ruth? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm listening. I'm paying attention. <laughs> Look, there you are. I smell that. It's, yeah. it's, it's flavour profile. Yeah, because when you burn garlic, it's so horrible. It becomes bitter. Yeah, so it's you have to get rid of it once you, you burn it. Away. More oil than yeah. less. Now, pomegranate seeds. Now, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit sort of hit and miss with pomegranate seeds. I think, like, if you have um, grapes, seedless grapes, lovely. Seeds and grapes, you spit them out, I think it's awful. But people are quite happy to eat pomegranate seeds and also passion fruit seeds. I, I don't like understand. Him, you see. I like them. What, passion fruit seeds? I like them. Chicken with <laughs> You see, James, that's me just <laughs> ruined. <laughs> <laughs> just ruined. <laughs> Look at that. Tim, what can I do? Where's Rylan? <laughs> Here we go. And then I just sprinkle a bit of the garlic. Yep. In it goes. And give that sort of, uh, I don't know, a couple of minutes. Now, this is what I did earlier. So I just want to show you the, 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 the colour difference. The, the, the pomegranate molasses in there as well. Yeah. Just a lovely. Quite strong, though, that stuff. Yeah, you've got to be very, very careful with it. Okay. But after a few minutes, it'll end up this one here. Now, I've got a cooked one here. Let's go to a quick recap and have a taste. I'm just finishing my mushroom while you're doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the backbone from the chicken, turn over, and press down to flatten completely. Mix the lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper, then rub all over the chicken. Add a small glass of boiling water to the tray, cover with foil and roast at 200 degrees centigrade, gas six, for around about 40 minutes. Mix the couscous, lemon zest and juice, oil, pomegranate molasses, red onion, mint and season well with salt and pepper. Whisk the lemon juice and zest, pomegranate molasses vinegar and corn flour together. Glaze the chicken and cook for a further 15 to 20 minutes until it browns nicely. Serve with a couscous salad and scatter over pomegranate seeds and crispy garlic. And there it is. Look at that. That's been glazed two or three times. Is it my job? The honours for you, young man. Sounds good. It smells good. A bit of salad on there as well. I want you to taste this, Ruth, because I know... And you, you like when do I ever not taste your food? You know, but sometimes you, you know, you're you very honest. And I sometimes am. If you don't like it, you'll say too that. Too honest yeah. sometimes. No, no, there not you go, Ruth. You go first. Well, I know I like the spatchcock chicken because I know it'll be nice and moist. But uh, as I said, the secret is letting it rest, roasting it in that uh, pot, roasting in that moist your... environment, and I'm then having... leaving it to rest. I'm having some of your pomegranate Just, seeds. Yeah, there's too much in there, but there we are. The water you need in the pan, otherwise it's going to burn. Yeah, oh. it just it just keeps the whole thing really juicy as well. It's even not... that even that one glass will make a massive difference. It's not bad that you've learned a lot of these years. Thank you, James. Thank you. And can I just show you my mushroom? <laughs> can I just show you my mushroom? Yeah. I need a close up. Yeah, okay. there it is. Look at that. Okay, so that is James's mushroom, and this is mine. Oh. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Ruth, getting the hang of it. When, when, you're, when, when you're in your home, you better do that. Thank you very much. Anyway, there you go. Thank it's you, a Phil. Thank you very much.